Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this eTrailer SD 2-inch RV mount non-binding tow bar for the Blue Ox base plates. This has a 6,000 pound gross towing weight capacity. Now this tow bar will let you tow your vehicle safely and securely behind your motorhome. The shank portion right here, this is what will slide into your 2-inch trailer hitch receiver on your RV so there's no ball mount necessary does offer, if you notice, there's two hitch pin holes right here that are about two inches apart. This will allow you to position the tow bar closer to or further from your RV, depending on your application, without sacrificing any load capacity. If you notice, the pin and clip right here is included. That's to secure the shank to your hitch receiver. Also on this tow bar, there's no need for a high-low adapter on most setups because it has an adjustable head that will tilt up or down three inches to keep your tow bar parallel with the road during towing. You can see the shank right here has this nice built-in one and a half inch drop or if you flip it over a one and a half inch rise for additional height adjustability. The arms, they are a telescoping self-supporting arm, makes for a fast easy hookup. The main feature is the self-supporting arms because they won't fall to the ground when they're unfolded. The self-supporting design of the arms allows you to telescope one arm out and attach it to the base plate without having to worry about the supporting the other opposite arm at the same time. Just to show what we're talking about, if you raise this arm up, and if you let it go just like that, it'll hold it in that position. If you go up even higher, it'll hold it just like that. So wherever you move it to and let it go, it'll hold it in that position. <clears throat> now these arms will also give you a full horizontal articulation. Allows for unlimited spread to fit your application. Basically, this arm will swing all the way out this way. This one could swing all the way this way, so 180 degree articulation of it. And that's also one of the ways you could store this alongside your motorhome. You could put this arm all the way out this way, and a pin will lock it into place right here in this hole. Same way here, if you move this one, the pin will lock it into place. So you could have one arm on this side, one arm on this side up against your motorhome. The other two ways you can store it is these arms can be folded together and then swing to the left and they'll lock in place or stored together, swing them all the way to the right, they'll lock in place. They'll again keep it up alongside your motorhome, keep it out of the way. <clears throat> These arms do use a self-aligning design. You just hook up and drive your RV forward and what will happen is these arms will extend into a nice rigid tow ready position. So you can see they'll just slide out and then when you get far enough you'll hear that they'll lock into place, same way with that arm. Once they're locked, you're all ready to tow. And then they are a non-binding design, so it will allow you to easily release your vehicle even on unlevel ground. It has a trigger release right here, one on this arm. So when you push in that trigger, it'll release the arms just like that, very easy to operate. Now what's nice is if you're on unlevel ground, usually one of the arms might have more pressure. So it still wouldn't matter, you just use this trigger release, push it in, and it'll release the arm, simple as that. If you notice on the arms, it has these integrated cable mounting clips on each arm. And what those do is you can see it holds the included safety cables off the ground, prevents them from dragging. And if you notice the safety cable, they include as a nice vinyl coating to protect it. And on each end is the steel hooks with these in spring-loaded latches for added security. <clears throat> if you notice on this arm, it has this built-in storage rod. And the reason that is, that's for the electrical cord, the coiled electrical cord. Now the electrical cord is not included. You would have to supply that, but your electrical cord, when you plug it in on each end and you have a coil in there, it'll usually hang down, so you don't want it dragging. So what you can do is pull this clip, put the extra coils of that cord on there, and then clip it so it stays there and it keeps it from dragging on the ground. <clears throat> This tow bar has a nice e-coat finish, provides corrosion resistance. It is made in the USA. Again, the application is for two inch by two inch trailer hitch receivers. Now this part number is designed to work with the Blue Ox base plates. The Blue Ox, Blue Ox base plates are sold separately. This part will include the adapters that attach to those Blue Ox base plates. A few measurements on this. <clears throat> if we squeeze these arms together so you have a straight line here, and then if we measure from the center of this hitch pin hole to the center of this base plate pin hole <clears throat> with the arms retracted like they are now, that measurement's going to be 39 and a quarter inches. If we extended those arms all the way out 
and measured same way from this hitch pin hole to the base plate pin hole. It's going to be 51 and 3 quarter inches. Now the distance from this hitch pin hole to the end of the shank right here, are to where it begins the curve in the shank, from this hitch pin hole to the, where this curve begins, is 5 and a half inches. And the distance from this hitch pin hole to the vertical bolt right here in the head, that's 12 and a half inches. Weight capacity on this tow bar again is 6,000 pounds. Total weight of the tow bar itself is about 41 pounds. And it does come with this nice operator's manual that'll show all the parts, how it goes together, and how everything operates. But that should do it for the review on the E-Trailer SD 2-inch RV mount non-binding tow bar for the Blue Ox base plates. It has a 6,000 pound gross towing weight capacity.